Hello, everyone. Good news is the Aetheric internship is done. Bad news is now we have to study for the RD exam. Hmm. What do you say we cram together? I'm going to call this cram. Get it was hot. What's that? I baked as a pie. Hmm. Do you want me to teach you how to make it? It's so easy. Yes. I legit just got pie crust already baked, already done. Then I got some cream of mushroom, frozen vegetables, and rotisserie chicken. Shredded the rotisserie chicken, mixed with the cream of mushroom and the veggies, stuff it in here, and baked it. How long did it take? I mean, like 45 minutes. I did do it only at 375, though. Quick and easy. You ready to eat it? Yes. And then we can talk about everything that's in it. Let's do it. Oh wow, this is hot. You know that we have to cook chicken at a minimum internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's why, even though it was a rotisserie chicken, I made sure that it was cooked thoroughly. We're not trying to get sick, right? Yeah. Also, what do you think about the crust? Pretty good and flaky, huh? Mm -hmm. So you'd say that's a pastry, right? Yeah. You know pastries have four different ing ingredients? Here, what are they? Fat, flour, liquid, and salt. Fat, flour, liquid, and salt. Because we use fat when we're making pastries, say we are using oil or lard. That's like 100% fat. Mm -hmm. But if we run out or if we, like I don't have lard in my house, just sitting there, right? So say I'm trying to substitute something and I'm using butter or margarine instead. Mm -hmm. That's 80% fat. That just means I'll have to add more to make up for the fact that's 80% fat rather than 100. Wow. What do you think about this apple? Very juicy and crispy. Isn't it? Did you know that the juiciness from like fruits and vegetables, it's because they are more than 75% water. No, I didn't. No joke. Yes. Fruits and vegetables, they have osmotic pressure in these things they're like water filled vacuoles wow. neat also fruits and vegetables have vitamin a vitamin c uh some minerals and a few of them might even have vitamin b wow. hey do you have some avocados i do but they're kind of green how can we make them ripe faster well, I don't know how I can make them ripe faster, but I know that ethylene glass may be used to accelerate ripening. Oh, wow. Interesting, right? Yeah. What do you say we make some fajitas? Okay. Lots of peppers and onions. Ooh. But if I use an aluminum pan, the onions might turn yellow. Wow. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Did you know that onions have anthocyanins and flavones? No, I did not. Now you do. Wow. I was thinking of coming over tomorrow for breakfast. That sounds fun. We could make uh, maybe some omelette. Okay. Mm, I make this really good one with onions, peppers. Oh, I love to add shiitake mushrooms to it. Sounds good. Do you like shiitake mushrooms? Yeah. And then maybe we could have some raspberries for dessert because I have raspberries in the fridge. Did you know though that like the mushroom and the raspberries, we have to wash them just before we serve it because otherwise there'll be a mushy mess. Wow, I did not know that. Now you do. Wow. You know what sounds good? What? Soup. Yes. I heard that like cabbage soup is a thing. Okay. Have you ever had cabbage soup? No, I have not. Me neither. But I did hear that there are some tips to minimize the strong flavor of cabbage soup. How is that? Three simple things that we can do. One of them is to cook with a lot of water. Okay. Another one is to like lead, leave the lid off mm -hmm. so the acid can escape. And also cook for a short period of time. Okay. I guess we could try. Yeah. Let's make some cabbage soup. Don't they have like some cabbage soup diet or something? Yeah, they do. It's a fad. Don't let's not do fad diets. A little bit. A little tense now. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm kind of tired, Camila. I hear you. We've been working hard at making videos, studying for the RD exam. I mean, 
I've been studying. You've been just like I've been making guest appearances. Like a wing woman that helps me memorize the material, right? And all you kids watching. <laughs> so, what do you? What is that? Well, this is some some vino, or as the cool kids say, wine. Actually, that is not just wine. That is a functional food. What is a functional food? Functional food actually has more benefits than conventional food, I guess. That is a conventional functional food. That's what that is. So, okay. Grape juice and red wine, they have resveratrol. Say resveratrol three times. <laughs> resveratrol. Say resveratrol. That's it. That's what they got. That's cool, right? You know what that does? It reduces platelet aggregation. Now, say we have a little bit of wine, and then we decide, even though fish usually would do white wine with it, but say we decide to have something with omega-3, right? Omega-3 fatty acids, they are also like a functional food, but that one reduces triglyceride levels. So, this one, red wine and grape juice, platelet aggregation with red wine. That's sad. <laughs> you can't say it either. And then omega 3, that one helps lower triglyceride levels. And tomatoes. So tomatoes have lycopene. And what that does, it may reduce the risk of prostate cancer. For all you males out there. Hello, all you cool cats and kittens. So, we discussed, what did we discuss? Uh, functional foods that can be like conventional functional foods or modified functional foods. So the conventional, do you remember the word? Resveratrol. That's in red wine and grape juice, mm -hmm. lycopene and tomato, and omega-3s. But now for the modified ones, that is, say, milk that's fermented that has probiotics and it helps your GI tract and fortified marg margarines did I say that right? Margarines mm -hmm. fortified margarines that may have plant sterols and sterol esters that can help lower LDL cholesterol wow. so now you get why they're functional because they function Tomorrow, when we eat breakfast, we should um, maybe cook some turkey bacon and put that in the omelet. Okay. It'll be tasty. And that way we don't add any salt because that's salty. Yeah. You know what they put in that? What do they put in it? They put nitrites. And that makes all those processed meats kind of pink. But you know what the purpose of adding nitrites is? What? To inhibit botulism. Like the bacteria that causes botulism. Wow. It's probably like botulinum or something. Botulism. Is botulism Botox? What is Botox? Is Botox botulism? Yeah. Is that the same? <gasps> so they put nitrites to inhibit botulism. But what if you have Botox and you eat a bunch of processed meats filled with nitrites? Could that make it so your Botox doesn't work as much? Maybe not, but who knows? We don't want the chances, so forget about that. No nitrites for me anymore. No nitrites. <laughs> Gotta keep their face looking young. No, but seriously though. So do you notice that the package is like vacuum sealed? Mm -hmm. Which is kind of cool, right? But vacuum sealing things creates an anaerobic condition, meaning no oxygen. So, that extends the life of the meat. Too good. Yeah. But what about pork? Pork. Well, pork is actually a very good source of thiamine. Thiamine, a.k.a., you know what vitamin number that is? No, I What letter and number? And what it be a nutritionist now? <laughs> it's B1. <laughs> Do you know deficiency? B1 deficiency causes this thing called berry berry. Just think B, berry, berry berry. And 
Beriberi spells like I. I looks like one. Beriberi, B1. Taimin. It's a bunch of I's. Beriberi has I's. Taimin has I's. The letter I. That is not I's, but you know. And that's very interesting. We also didn't talk about fish. Mm -hmm. But I have a fun fact. Did you know that calcium content is very high in fish that are canned with bones? Can you think of a fish that is in a can with bones? Sardines. Sardines. Do you eat sardines? Mm hmm. Oh, I don't remember eating sardines for a really long time, but maybe we could look up some sardine. <gasps> Shut up. They look like a little baby fish, huh? Yeah. I remember just mushing it all together. Do you smush it all together or you just... No. <laughs> I don't eat sardines. I am lying. Well, we should come up with some sardine recipe. You like it? Mm-hmm. So, do you see that I added like edamame here? Yeah. Edamame is soybean. And soy is a really good source of protein. Uh, and it's important for us to know, for the people that are taking their ID exam anyways, the methionine is eliminating amino acid in soy. With that being said, soy ha has isoflavones, bones, and that is very beneficial to lower cholesterol. Oh, wow. Interesting, huh? What else do you know that's in the spy? Did you cook your vegetables frozen? Yes, I use frozen vegetables. Do you know what that means? No, I do not. Frozen vegetables, they, are, they cook so much faster because before they package them, they blanch them. And then they freeze it. Yeah, that's so green though. It's not ripe. Yeah. You know they used to ripe, like to accelerate the ripening of vegetables. What did they? Adam and guess. No joke. What is that? I have no idea. I just know that ethylene gas is the thing. Maybe we we'll go and ethylene on them. And then it's. And I have right. a confession. What's your confession? I have a folder here with information, and I've been reading off of it. <laughs> but I do have tricks to memorize things. Do you know how soy has isoflavones? Mm -hmm. You know how I remember that? How? I soy flavon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have no apples yeah, left. I was gonna say we're out of apples. <laughs> Action! We're back. Guess who's back? Back, back. Again. Back. <laughs> What is that? It's a super easy pie, which I baked just to tell you that my dog should not be in the kitchen. <laughs> what are you gonna use cornstarch for, anyways? This is cornstarch, maybe not. Oh, cream of tartar! This thing is supposed to be like. Oh, look! Oh, did you know that fresh eggs? They sink to the bottom of the pan, but if they're old, they're not gonna sink. We should totally do a yes. test. Yes, you didn't know that. I didn't know that. We should totally do a test. 